If you don't know how your horse is about a bath, you're going to want to ask a friend who's also got some experience holding horses to help you at least that first couple of times and hold the horse. The cross ties might not be the safest way to go. As with anything else you do with a horse, you want to just start kind of slowly and easily. Keep a hand on the horse and just start here. You always want to be incredibly careful not to get water anywhere in or around the ears themselves. Watch your hose. A lot of horses are going to react to that hose touching them anywhere. And then we go for shampoo. You get more use out of the soap by going from top to bottom and kind of pulling some of the suds down. A lot of horses, when the drips are on their belly, it tickles or it feels like a fly down there. Do the same thing to rinse. Start at the bottom, just so the horse gets used to the hose coming again. The rinsing primarily, you want to do from top to bottom. Use your hands, make sure you're really getting all the suds out. With our two-in-one shampoo, because it's sulfate-free and paraben-free, it rinses more easily than a lot of products. But no matter what, you still want to rinse very carefully. Ease your way up. Some horses, it's just different from one side to the other. It might be scarier from this side than the other side. When you're washing a mane, the big thing is to, it's not just the hair down here, it's to get all this dirt. That's what the judges are going to be looking for. It's making sure you're clean. And since I've scrubbed really well into that mane, I need to rinse it equally well. Start at the bottom of the tail so she has an idea of what's coming. Work my way up. See all this tail here in the middle? I want to get suds right into all of that too. I can't see it very well, but I'm feeling this mare's tailbone. I'm getting right down to that. Nice clean face cloth, bucket of water, and a little shampoo in that bucket of water. And just scrub. Once you've got all the excess water off the coat, or a fair amount of it, it's when I like to apply Shoshin. Uh, today I've got our Shoshin Finishing Mist. It's the same formula, just in a non-aerosol spray can. This is great stuff because it distributes so evenly. You want to miss the saddle area, but if you show with a unbraided mane, again, great for helping to keep the tangles off. Good old-fashioned elbow grease. And it is a proven fact, the wetter and dirtier the groom, the cleaner the horse. Mm -hmm.